Hey, what's going on everyone? Hawks21 here back with another Splinterlands video. So for this one, we're going to open our season chests. Another season came to an end in Splinterlands. Um, we have an exciting thing coming to the game today during the maintenance window, which will be the introduction of the Soulbound reward cards. Now, previously, there's been situations like this where if you waited to open your season chests, you could get the new item post update but that is not going to be the case this time according to the team I actually I mean I obviously don't know what's actually going to happen but according to the team it does not matter when you open your season chests they are currently coded to give you the old reward setup so we're gonna take them for their word we're gonna open up our chests um, we're here on the alt account to start I think I have about 25-ish. That's normally what I end up with. I didn't see the number before it switched to this screen. Um, but normally about 25-ish gold chests. I don't really know ultimately what I'm going to do with this account. Right now it kind of just runs in the background. as like a you know, data collection bot test thing. I haven't put any sort of cards onto this account. Um, just sort of gets into gold by the end of every season and you know gets me some chests. So what are we dealing with here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27. So not a bad season. Helps me sort of just understand what it's, oh wow, we get an epic right to start, as you can see. You know, I don't mind picking up these old reward cards at two packs back to back, three, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, these are up to almost like 250 at this point. So we're talking $7.50-ish, you know, estimation. That's crazy, three in a row. Hopefully my champ chests are this good. Got a uh, rare. Yeah, nothing to complain about here. I'm just going to go through fast because we definitely used up all of our luck. So just small. Oh, huh. ended on a fourth pack. Four packs. Wow. So I used to previously open these packs, but now that they started burning Chaos Legion and we're getting towards the end, I've sort of just been hoarding any packs I get. So I'm gonna send that to these four to my main account. Uh, very, very, very successful. You know, 27 gold season end chests end up with um, four packs. Cannot complain about that at all. So let's get to the main event, which is going to actually be 59 champion chests. It was one of my highest chest numbers uh, on the season, or you know, in Splinterland since I became sort of a champion level player. It's my four packs. So yeah, if you go here, I gave away a ton during those scavenger hunts, but we're back up to 660. So building up a decent little number there. All right, so we have 59 champ chests. One thing I am going to do actually is I'm going to wait to claim this until the update goes through because I don't know how the daily chests are going to go. Um, and you know, there's obviously less of a you know risk in just waiting like if these 59 i want to open up not that there's a risk but i want to make content for you guys so all right 59 champ chess i really hope what i want is some of the old or the newer reward legendaries they're going to be out of print once the newer reward cards are in the game which is today and their supply is significantly lower than what we were expecting so for me, those are the cards I'm looking to get right now. But, you know, obviously I'll take any legendary, any big SPS stack. Merits are nice. We should be able to open a Gladius case, which we'll actually do. So far, nothing too crazy. Some of the old commons. You know, I made a video buying a bunch of the Merdampiers, so... You know, I like that card. Really disappointing thus far. We get nothing on this row. I'm gonna, all right, we gotta take it from the bottom. Just, they're giving me all the comments. There's a rare. There's another Uraeus, which is by far the best epic. I'll take all of the Uraeuses. I haven't even got a single gold foil. This is insane. Look at this. This is very, very, very disappointing. I only have 15 left. My gold chests are definitely outperforming from a value perspective. There's one gold. Wow. 
This is crazy. There's another gold. It's all commons. Wow. A hundred to end it. Okay. Very, very, very. I mean, I'm not going to complain. This is a lot of chests, a lot of value here. But, you know, commons, gold. Yeah, it is what it is. The gold chests, I think, were ultimately better. Let's go claim this SPS. What's always nice is you come here, you know, and I got over 300 to claim from the last couple days. Got 261 in the season, so we'll claim that. I've been very diligently sort of claiming it and staking it. Uh, also because, you know, there's a limited amount of time where we can get the GLX um, airdrops. So, I really want to uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Oh, we just broke uh, 21. Nice. Okay. So, last thing I wanted to do, actually, is see if we can get a Gladius case, and then we'll just open that. Shop. Guild. We should be able to... Yep. We can get one. Close to two. Pay with merits. And then I have been doing the Bloodstones. Just sort of uh, viewing it as my, you know, let's burn some DEC. So I'll come in here and grab five of them. Get a pretty good, we get the 8% guild discount. Uh, it gets to 10% throughout the season. So if you didn't know, it resets to the beginning of whatever level you're at and you need to do your uh, daily quests to get it back up to that highest level possible for your guild. All right, maybe all the luck here was in the Gladius case. We'll see. You know, and, you know, leveling up these Gladius cards are about to get much, much, much more important because, you know, as of today, we're going to be able to start earning um, summoners that can play Gladiator cards in normal ranked battle, right? So specifically if you're at the lower levels, right, someone's going to get lucky and someone's going to pull a level one rare or five, you know, if you can get multiple copies now, someone might get really lucky in silver or in bronze and pull five of a summoner. That sounds like it probably won't happen, but you know, maybe maybe within a couple weeks, one or two people will get really lucky and have a fully leveled up summoner for bronze that can then pull in gladiator cards. And that's going to be absolutely game changing. Okay, we might actually not be able to uh, open. Oh. Shit, shit, refresh. It'll pop up for me again. Here. Is it gonna be down here? Okay, I think this is it. Oh, we got two rares, so slightly better than standard. The cleaver, nice. Okay, I'll take it. We just gotta keep stacking those. I'm gonna stop it here. Really good for my gold account. Four packs, I will certainly take that very disappointing from my champion account very very disappointing but it is what it is that's the rng we keep it moving another successful season in splinterlands big changes coming and i'll be sure to cover them here on my channel if you enjoy splinterlands content you are in the right place and it would be awesome if you could take a quick second to subscribe to the channel getting really close to 1600 uh, and would love if you could join the party before that happens all right i hope you guys had amazing polls for your end of season better than mine i will talk to you guys soon and see you around the game